I'm Peter Schremer, and welcome to Michigan. It's springtime right now, and that means that baby animals are coming out, leaves and flowers are appearing, and the heavens are blessing the land with what Michigan is most known for, water. There are over 750 species of animals that live in Michigan, and that's not counting the more than 16,000 species of insects that call the Great Lakes region home. Now, all things need water to live, but many Michigan species depend directly on freshwater habitats for survival. Michigan's Department of Natural Resources listed the state's 404 species of greatest conservation need, and the vast majority of these species depend on Michigan's precious wetlands for their survival. Michigan has many types of freshwater habitats, which include vernal pools, ponds, swamps, rivers, and of course, the Great Lakes that define this state. Since Michigan's biodiversity is dependent on Michigan's freshwater habitats, let's take a look at just a few of the amazing creatures that you may come across, which are an integral part of Michigan's freshwater ecosystems. Here we are in one of Michigan's swamp habitats, which is home to lots of wildlife, including the gray tree frog. Gray tree frogs are one of only a few types of frogs that can freeze solid during their winter hibernation without dying. In springtime, their body warms up again and they hop along on their way. Gray tree frogs live in woodlands near water, and in the springtime, they travel to vernal pools, ponds, and swamps like this one to mate and lay eggs. Frogs help us by eating lots of insects and by acting as the songbirds of the night, serenading us with their calls. A frog's skin is very sensitive, and so if any pollution gets in the water, the frogs could die. We have to be very careful about what goes into our wetlands if we want to keep frogs like this guy around. We're at a Michigan stream to talk about the primary denizens of the water, fish. There are about 153 species of fish that live in Michigan's streams, rivers, ponds, and lakes. The fish species range from the itsy bitsy to the bottom feeders to the bazaar. But all fish play a vital role in the health and balance of their freshwater habitats. Fish help us by keeping plant and animal life in balance through the food chain. Fish are also an important source of food for humans and provide hours of outdoor enjoyment to thousands of anglers each year. Because so much other wildlife is linked directly to fish through the food chain, it is essential for us to keep Michigan rivers and lakes clean for the fish so that we don't poison them along with other wildlife and even ourselves. Well, here we are at a Michigan River with Francie Crocky of the Leslie Science and Nature Center to talk about our national symbol, the bald eagle. Francie, can you tell us a little bit about this amazing bird? Sure, Peter. She looks a little bit different than most bald eagles because she's immature. But even though she's young, she has incredible eyesight. In fact, if she could read, she'd be able to read a newspaper at the length of a football field. That's amazing. Now, could you tell us why clean water is important for bald eagles? Clean water is so important for bald eagles because their primary food source is fish. And if there's pollution or toxins in the water, it can either kill off their food source or poison the bird by the fish that they're ingesting. We need to keep lakes and rivers clean if we want to protect this magnificent bird. I hope you've had a chance to experience Michigan's wildlife and water for yourself. Along with having 20% of the world's fresh water in the surrounding Great Lakes, Michigan has 11,000 inland lakes, 36,000 miles of rivers and streams, and more freshwater coastline than any other state. There is lots to explore and lots to enjoy. So whether you're just vacationing here or if you call Michigan home, let's all do our part to keep Michigan waters clean so that future generations can experience Michigan's wondrous biodiversity.